This is Steven Scarlatt is from PocketNow.com and today we're going to go over the software that's included with the Verizon HTC Ozone. Uh, the Verizon HTC Ozone runs Windows Mobile 6.1 and Verizon hasn't done very much to customize uh, Windows Mobile 6.1 so you essentially get all of Windows Mobile 6.1 standard um, plus some applications that they've added uh, which we'll go over when I um, um, see, show you what programs uh, there are on the device. Um, so on the Today screen, uh, you've got uh, the familiar Windows Mobile 6.1 standard scroll through item uh, picker. Uh, so we've got the phone here, the next is the calendar. I have it hooked up uh, with my Exchange ActiveSync uh, account and um, it shows you your next appointment. If you go to the left, you can actually create a new appointment. Going down, you can go through your unread emails and actually scroll through them. If you choose, um, you can actually uh, see your messages and read through those messages and then hit the return key and it'll bring you back to the Today screen. Um, same here with your HTML messages. Um, you've also got a text message uh, functionality which allows you to do text messaging, um, video messaging, and picture messaging. Um, the next function is the weather. It gives you the five-day weather. Um, and the next one is your Internet Explorer. So Internet Explorer is the updated uh, Internet Explorer from Microsoft which does support YouTube. So if we bring that up, um, the site that's uh, configured by default is the Windows Live site, uh, but we can go to menu here and go to web address. And if we uh, clear out the web address and put in uh, YouTube, and then select youtube.com it'll bring you back to the mobile YouTube and we will be able to um, play some uh, videos from that so here you have uh, Quentin Tarantino's filmmaker advice click on that right now we are using the EVDO network so um, scroll up to see the screen and um, you can see the screen's actually pretty good so So it's definitely watchable. It's uh, uh, a very nice added functionality. So we'll come back to the Today screen. And you've got your profile where you can actually uh, scroll through Com Manager, uh, ringtone for Windows Mobile, background image, you can change that and the task manager which is, uh, allows you to close programs so that's a nice feature there. Um, it also has a wizard that helps you set up email accounts uh, to Gmail. Um, you've got Visual Voicemail which is a um, Verizon specific application. Um, then you've got your Bluetooth allows you to easily set up your Bluetooth uh, headset. Uh, Wi-Fi to set up your Wi-Fi connection. Uh, set your wallpaper, ringtones, and some device tips that they provide and uh, allows you to uh, remove this getting started uh, feature which is, you know, if you're not, if this is your first time with a um, smartphone, uh, this is quite uh, handy and has a lot of good information. Um, so then that takes you back to the clock. So under the start if we look at the programs, you've got your standard messaging, calendar, contacts, Internet Explorers, Windows Media Player. You've got uh, Office Mobile with uh, Excel, OneNote, PowerPoint, and Word. Uh, come back to that. ActiveSync, of course, Adobe Reader, uh, the Light Edition, Voice Command, which is a, um, a great little application, which is tied into the phone button down here, um, audio booster, your call history, the camera which uh, 
is a 2 megapixel camera. It takes okay uh, pictures. Um, clocks and alarm, the comm manager, uh, and the modem link uh, so that you can actually uh, use this uh, phone for tethering. RSS hub, quick GPS, which is a um, the a GPS functionality so that uh, the GPS function uh, kicks in faster because it helps it get help it does get help from uh, the cellular network and that's what a GPS is all about it's a combination of using the GPS chip that's on board uh, with the cellular network to get the uh, fastest uh, uh, position information uh, speed dial Here's visual voicemail. Verizon gives you a mobile IM application. Uh, I actually installed Bing, um, which in my next video will go over in terms of using the GPS. Uh, mobile email, which is a service that Verizon provides uh, to get link all your email accounts together. Uh, VZ Navigator is Verizon's um, GPS application, allows you to navigate. Um, and gives you turn-by-turn -turn navigation. Uh, then you've got uh, a couple games, uh, Bubble Breaker and Solitaire, and your system tools. Uh, clear Storage, which allows you to reinitialize the, the device, the SIM manager, um, which allows you to copy the contacts from the included SIM card, and the task manager. So, you know, this is a very full-featured uh, phone and again, you know, very tough to beat for uh, $49.99 with a two-year contract, and that's really the key. This platform um, is a 528 megahertz processor. It's the same base hardware design uh, for the Snap, um, although obviously it's customized for the EVDO network and it also has a GSM built in. So although the, the, the core processing engine is the same, it's really a different phone uh, because it's customized for Verizon and the fact that they wanted it to be a world phone, uh, which is another appealing aspect to this phone. So uh, that's about it for today. And I'll be back uh, to test out uh, switching out the SIM card to an AT&T SIM card and uh, also looking at the GPS chip, since this is one of the first phones that comes unlocked from Verizon, uh, we'll be using uh, the Bing application and uh, see how well it works. That's it for now.